This is the latest thing that I bought to take with me on the Appalachian Trail. It's a lightning to SD card camera reader. Comes in a box and inside the box are the device, the adapter, along with a micro to SD card adapter. All right, so this is what it looks like. It has a slot at this end to put your SD card into this end right here, or your lightning connector. And then what I did was I bought a sand disk, 256 gigabyte micro SD card, which is right here. It's this little thing, it's super tiny. And then what you do is you take your adapter, this adapter comes with it, and you just slide this in, make sure that the connectors are going inside. Slide it in, it seats, and now you take this and you slide it into here. So, and then this attaches to your phone. The advantage of this is <laughs> really, really nice. You don't have to try and upload your stuff into the cloud to, to back it up. You can back up all your videos and photos on this 256 gigabyte card. So that is my plan on the AT is I'm going to back up all of my photos, all of my videos onto this 256 gigabyte card and if it runs out of space, I'll just buy another one. Very, very light. This is super light. It's less than two ounces, everything together. So this will be in my electronics bag and uh, it's super easy to back up your photos to it. One thing I would tell you though, is it shows up in the camera as I believe untitled. So when you try to back everything up, you have to look for the device called untitled and if you have a laptop or PC that the SD card can fit into I recommend putting that in and renaming this card and what I usually do is I'll take the the name and change it from untitled to my cell phone number so that's an idea a very good idea you put your cell phone number on there and if, if somebody that's honest finds it on the trail or in a hostel, they can call you and you can get your card back. So uh, you have to depend on honest people for that one. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, please hit the like button and uh, there's a little bell you can click on if you haven't already done so. So anytime I put a new video up, you will get notified. So there you have it.